Where are we with research in celiac disease? Well, there are several areas that have been major focuses. The first is understanding who has celiac disease and when does it occur. And we know that there's been a, a substantial increase in celiac disease in the population, not just because of better diagnosis, but because something has changed in our environment that's driving celiac disease. And it's not just driving celiac disease in children, it is causing celiac disease to occur in adults who've been eating gluten for decades and have not had to develop the disease. So something has upset their system to cause them to lose tolerance to gluten. Some of this work led to two large studies in Europe where they're trying to prevent celiac disease by altering the timing of introduction of gluten into the diet in children. Now these children were known to be at genetic risk for celiac disease because they had family members with the disease. Unfortunately, these two very well designed and expensive studies did not show that we could prevent celiac disease by altering the timing or dose of gluten in the diet early in life. Usually by three or seven years of age, the groups who had early intake of gluten and those who had later intake of gluten ended up with the same amount of celiac disease. So it is really back to the drawing board on prevention. The second area is looking for new treatments. A gluten-free diet is not all it's cracked up to be. It sounds simple, but it's anything but. It's quite a difficult diet to follow for people who have to completely exclude gluten. And we know in adults that not everybody will heal their intestine. So there are now many different efforts to develop um, approaches to target celiac disease beyond or in addition to a gluten-free diet. So there are attempts to induce tolerance. Can we tame the immune system's reaction against gluten? And so there have been some trials that have started and there will be some trials in the near future where people are trying to address um, new technologies or new techniques for trying to induce tolerance. There have also been studies, some that we've been involved with here at Mayo, which are looking at ways to break down gluten before the immune system can see it or block the access of the gluten to the immune system. Uh, for example, by reducing the leakiness of the intestine to gluten. So these are areas of active uh, investigation and I am hopeful that in five years we will have alternatives or additional treatments to help people doing their best on a gluten-free diet. What about understanding complications? We're also focused on what are the reasons why some people don't heal their intestine? Is that because of gluten contamination of the diet where there's some level of gluten sneaking into the diet that the patient's not aware of? Or is there something else going on? Is there some level of autoimmunity that occurs especially in people diagnosed in adulthood that won't let the intestine heal completely? So those are some areas that we're focusing on both here at our celiac disease program at the Mayo Clinic and globally in research into a celiac disease, a disease that's truly emerging, not only as a disease affecting people, but as a, a subject for intense research. Thank you.